is my running mate. I've enjoyed a great working relationship with her, one that is based on mutual respect for each other and her deep sense of loyalty. She has great insights into human resource management, empowerment and social development. And under my administration, she will have oversight, among others, of the education sector, the health sector, gender and social protection. Thank you. In these, in these dire times, when unemployment rates have risen astronomically and poverty is stalking our land, ours will be a pair of experienced individuals poised to work together to make the difference that Ghanaians deserve. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, comrades, my brothers and sisters, I'm happy to present to you my running mate, and by the grace of God and the votes of you, my fellow citizens, I'm happy to present Ghana's next Vice President. For the last few years, Ghana, our dear country, has sunk to the lowest depths in our history as an independent nation. Our country, Ghana, over the last few years has been buffeted by turbulent seas and has been sailing against a very strong headwind. Our leadership has been uninspiring and inept. We have lived under an administration that is unable to be truthful and honest to the people of Ghana and never accepts responsibility for anything. There can be no question in our minds that the effect of this maladministration has been so insidious and pervasive that today our people have lost faith and hope in not just the government of the day, but in our democratic system of governance. Ladies and gentlemen, our country needs an urgent reset. Our people need a leadership that is inspiring, one that will make our people believe and trust in our Ghana project once again and believe in the hope of a better future. 